Welcome back to DT Daily, I'm Janelle Padilla. Coming up today, a smart air conditioner joins the Internet of Things, the Tau Well Shell hits Kickstarter, and the Germans 3D print a full-size car. When you look at window hanging air conditioners, sleek design isn't usually the first thing that comes to mind, but incubator site Quirky, in a partnership with GE, is making the air conditioner cool again. The Aero Smart air conditioner is exactly what you'd expect from a connected AC unit. It runs through your home Wi-Fi network and can be controlled through the Wink app. The unit will shut off when you leave and automatically turn back on to cool your space before you get home. It also keeps track of how much energy it uses, suggesting settings based on the weather forecast and your budget. The Eros isn't available just yet, but for only 300 bucks, getting a pre-order in now before the summer heat may be a good idea. We first saw the Tau Well shell at CES 2014, and after getting hands-on with a prototype, it quickly became one of our favorite health and fitness gadgets at the show. Now it's taken a Kickstarter for a little fundraising. The Well Shell is an interactive mobile exercise device that combines both yoga and Pilates. You just squeeze it and through voice commands, it lets you know when to increase or decrease the pressure. Despite its obvious simplicity, you can achieve a serious core workout. The companion app contains 50 exercise programs with instructions on how to vary things up and work different muscles. The Tau can also be gamified, allowing you to compete with other well shell owners. 3D printing is quickly replacing all types of traditional manufacturing, and now the assembly line's days may be numbered. This is the EDAG Genesis, a full-size car chassis constructed entirely by a 3D printer. This prototype is made from a thermoplastic material, but designers say that printing it out of carbon fiber is also possible. The one-piece design took its inspiration, as you can see, from a turtle shell. And when this concept eventually hits the road, it should be lighter and stronger than a traditional chassis. So okay, this probably doesn't mean the end of the assembly line. They do have to hang the body panels and drop the engine in somehow. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.